that is a bike size of Binyam Girmai, also known as Bini. Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm gonna try to be as concise as possible and precise as possible. I'm just gonna talk about bike. So uh, there is no videos of the bike, no video of, of the rider. It's just me talking about the bike size. So let's not waste any more time. It is very precious. So let's jump it into the subject. Bini is racing for the Belgian team Intermarché Wanti Gobert. The team is sponsored by the German bike brand named Cube. It's very interesting because Cube is making cycles. <laughs> Bini is 1m84 tall and his weight at peak performance is 70 kilograms. He raced on the Cube, on the Aero Road model of the Cube brand as the team got access to different models uh, depending on the race profile and also of the rider uh, preference. Bini being very fast, uh, he's he's good sprinter. He's not a pure sprinter, but he's very fast. He can compete with uh, Wood Van Aert and Mathieu van der Poel, for example. So he is definitely a very fast rider. So he raced on the Aero model. Uh, the model is called the Lightning C68. X from Cube and the size. The size is a size 56 centimeters. Now, uh, I don't have the height of the saddle. Uh, that's the only information I don't have from Bini. Uh, I did text him, but as I'm recording this, we are in the middle of the Giro d'Italia and he's racing the Giro. I doubt, or I'm pretty much sure, he don't have time to reply to my message right now. So that will be for a different video update, obviously, when I have the, the saddle position, uh, the height and the fore and, and back of the saddle. For the rest, I have the information. It is, uh, his, Bini is ra racing with a 130 millimeters stem lens. It is a, a combo, it's one piece, the stem and bar. So it's 130 millimeters lens with six degrees uh, rays. Uh, there is no st zero, st millim zero millimeter stack and the handlebar width is 40, 400 millimeters. The handlebar is wrapped with Prologo bar tape. And since we are talking about Prologo, it's also a Prologo saddle. Bini is using the 02 NAC. The NAC is for the carbon uh, rail saddle type. Uh, I think the size is a 275 millimeters length and a 130, 135 uh, width. You can refer to, to my sketch for the frame geometry, the frame size, uh, and all the components uh, position. The seat post is zero millimeters setback. And the crank length, the crank length is seven, uh, it, it is 175 millimeters length. That's the Shimano, obviously. If you look at the beginning of the season, a lot of riders were using uh, the, the previous model of the Shimano Durais crank length, and that's because Shimano took a lot of delays to deliver the 175 millimeters crank lens. So most of the time it was riders with the long crank arms were using the previous model, but with a, with a, the newest, with a 12 speed group set, with a 12 speed chain rings and cassette and derailleurs and shifters and brakes. Since I'm talking about brakes, sometimes you, you can, if you look at mini riders, it's not only about Bini, but mini riders, use uh, the front disc rotor is 140 millimeters and sometimes it's 160 millimeters. The weight is not so different between 140 and 160, but the, the braking performance is a bit different. So obviously when it is a hilly or mountain stage, you can see riders shifting to the 160 millimeters. When it is a flat course, well, it is obviously lighter to use the 140 millimeters, but not only this, it's also because the disc rotors are quite easily uh, bent. Uh, it can be a crash or, 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 or even when you ride, if you, disc, if you have disc brakes, sometimes you, you just brake at the stop and then you restart and you, you hear the rattle. And the rattling is actually, it's a marginal, marginal loss, right? So you don't want to have the disc brake uh, rattling on, on the pads when you are training hard, especially if you're a top rider at the end and every watt counts. So they use the, short, uh, the smallest disc rotor. So the team is sponsored by Newman wheels. It's a German uh, components uh, company and the wheels are carbon 
well, nowadays it would have carbon. So the, the wheels are carbon and the rim depends obviously of the race profile and of the rider preference. So sometimes you see on, on 42 millimeters or 50 something and also 60 something. The team is sponsored by Continental, so they are racing with tubeless, most of the time with tubeless. That's the GP5000 STR, and they also use the Competition Pro Limited. Both of them on tubeless and sometimes on tubular type, and very rarely but on tube models. The section is obviously changing upon the race profile. It's, they go from 26 to 28, depending on the race profile. As well. I think I did mention everything. The team is racing with um, Brighton S500 GPS head unit. The team is sponsored by Look, so obviously they are, use, they are using the Look KO blade carbon, ceramic bearings, titanium uh, axle. All the bearings are from ceramic speed bearings, including the bottom bracket, the, the bearings in the wheels. And actually, if you look at the stage one and stage three of the Giro d'Italia, you can see Bini racing with a prototype or non-officially non released ceramic speed uh, rear derailleur cage fend, fending, fender, fending, fend. Well, it's a, it is an aero uh, fender over the rear derailleur cage. And I have included the link for it. Just look at it. It's very interesting. Uh, I, I know some riders are using it also on time trial. So it's, it's not only Bini using it. This one is racing with well, like the whole team, they are racing with the Nalini, Nalini jersey and Bib short. He is using the DMT KR1 cycling shoes, and the helmet and the glass, uh, yeah, sunglasses and helmet are from Force. If you're here until the end, I give you a virtual high five and a thank you. I look for you for the next video. <laughs>